friends! Yay! Better lighting today! The sun is actually out. It's actually a nice day. People are doing yard work. Sorry if you can hear that. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my goals that I had for September and how that worked out for me. A really popular YouTuber named Shay Carl did a big Shay Lost September thing where he encouraged his viewers to set goals and then made videos throughout the month trying to encourage them to accomplish these goals. And it was going to be this really cool thing. I actually heard about it through another YouTuber. Fall of Autumn Distro isn't even his username anymore, Alan Distro, it's not his name. Um, Persistence of Video is his YouTube channel. He's the half of DFTBA Records, that is not Hank Green. Now, he mentioned in his daily vlogs that he was doing Shay Lost September and he kind of talked about that in his vlogs. So I watched his videos, I still watch his videos, he's one of my favorite YouTubers right now. And Shay Carl, I watched some of his videos and some other people working on goals. I had some friends on Tumblr who were also doing it and it was just a really cool thing. So I set some goals. did update periodically on Tumblr how those were doing, but I didn't really talk about them much on here. Sorry about that. So I'm going to talk about them now. Originally I just had two main goals, and then Shay Carl kind of encouraged us to have three main goals. So I added another one, and it was um, save change every day, which is really dumb because I do that anyway, so I don't know why I included that in my, you know, September goals or whatever. And I did that pretty well. So then, after a little while, I realized, oh, I could have a much better goal than just something I already do. And that is get up at 9 a.m. on every weekday, which I felt like was a really good goal. I work retail, and I work in the evenings most of the time. I work a lot at nights and weekends. And so before September, my schedule was like, get up at like 11 or so, mess around on the computer for a while, go to the gym, come home, have lunch, get ready for work, go to work, come home, get on the computer, go to bed. So it didn't leave me with like much day to do anything. And some of my bigger goals kind of involved, you know, me needing some time to do stuff. So I thought, oh, I could make more time in my day if I just get up earlier. So every weekday I started setting an alarm for nine. Most weeks it's been pretty good. Sometimes I've like gone back to sleep for a little while, but I've still been getting up before I used to. So that's been a really good goal. I haven't really done really great with it. I think maybe I should amend it to like getting up at 9 a.m. like a certain number of days a week because on the weekends it's not like I can sleep in. I'm really happy I made that goal because it really helped me in the next goal. And that was to stick with my blogging and YouTube schedule. And to talk about how this one went, I'll have to go day by day. On Mondays, I was supposed to update my makeup blog, which is KDC Makeup at Blogspot. I'll link that down below. I don't remember the exact address. That's no good. And I think I did that. I know I posted every Monday in the month, and I don't think I was late on any of them. Tuesdays, I think were Twitter Tuesdays, which was again for my KDC makeup Twitter. Which at first was good because I would like search for people to follow or you know talk to people on Tuesday but then it got to the point where I was following as many people as I really wanted to follow, following all the makeup bloggers and makeup YouTubers and stuff that I wanted to follow and I kind of just post there whenever I have something to say. These days I would post a video on my beauty channel which is KDC makeup on YouTube. I did make a video every week but sometimes it wasn't up till like really late at night or like on Thursday, really early on Thursday. Thursdays was going to be Tumblr Thursdays for my KDC Makeup Tumblr. And at first I would go through and like search the makeup tags and different, you know, beauty related tags and add things to my Tumblr queue. But like Twitter, after a while I started following people. I follow a lot of makeup people on Tumblr now and I've gotten to where now I have like a few weeks in advance set up on the queue. Tumblr's a website that I'm on every day, so I just kind of, you know, scroll through my dash and whatever's makeup related, I add to the queue of my makeup Tumblr. And then on Fridays was this channel, and you all know how that's gone. Um, okay. I think I have made a video every week, but again, a lot of them have been late. That was really long-winded, and basically that's gone pretty well, and I'm going to try and keep the same schedule up this month, except for the Twitter and Tumblr days. I'm trying to do blog post Mondays and beauty video Wednesdays and regular channel videos on Fridays. Then I also set a weight loss goal for September because that was kind of like what the challenge was really about was weight loss and I did not reach it at all. I didn't even get close. I think I might have like gained a pound this month. I'm, I don't even remember which is really sad and it's nobody's fault. It's not Alan's fault. 
Fall of Autumn Distro. Not his fault. It's not Shay Carl's fault. It's not anybody's fault except for mine. Just because I've had a lot of trouble getting motivated lately and it's just like where I am, like the mindset I'm in. That's just like a personal thing. I just need to motivate myself. I think I'm trying to switch up my workout routine too because I've really gotten in a rut with that. Okay, so basically September goals, sort of a fail, but learned a lot of good things from it. I don't really have specific goals for October. I think what a lot of YouTubers are doing in October is like reading goals. So I guess I'll try to read more in October. I haven't read anything in a while and I was supposed to be doing that 5365 book club thing and I don't even think I've read 20 books. I might have read 20 but definitely not more than that. The next book on my list to read is the John Green book and I love John Green books so I know I'm gonna enjoy it. So I just need to pick it up and make that happen. So yeah, did any of you guys do the Shea Lost September or did you have any goals in September that you met, didn't? Please leave comments, let me know. And that's it for me this week. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye.